Thank you for joining me again today on Delicious by Debbie. I'm going to make a quick uh, French bread to have with our supper tonight, so I thought you might want to watch. I've got a cup and a half of warm water just from the faucet, and I'm going to put it into my mixing bowl. And into that, I'm going to put a tablespoon of honey. And I want a tablespoon of yeast. I'm using the quick rise. And one of these is equal to a tablespoon. So go ahead and put that in here. And I'm just going to mix that around a little bit and let it sit for a bit to let it proof. Let the yeast start foaming up. I don't know if you can see that or not, but the yeast in the bowl is foaming up. It's proofing, it's working. I'm going to put the paddle attachment on. And then to this, I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. This is actually one and a half teaspoon measuring spoon. So put that in there. And then three and a half to four and a half cups of flour. I'm just gonna add two cups right now and get it started mixing. And I am doing the spooning it in and then leveling it off with a knife. So there's one cup. And there's the second cup. I'm just going to start mixing that now. Okay, that's two cups of flour. I'm going to add some more. I'm going to add another cup and a half for right now. That would be three and a half cups. And this sometimes takes more like four, but we'll see. Three. Let me do another half of a cup. And we'll mix that up and see what it's like. The dough is still a little bit too sticky to work with, so I'm going to put another, I think I'll do a half a cup at a time. This would make four cups if I put this in. Let's try that. So that four cups seems right. It's not sticky like it was now. So we'll go ahead with the rest of it. Okay, I've taken the bowl off of the mixer and took the dough hook out. Now I have this uh, baking stone here and I'm gonna put the dough onto it. And I'm going to try to shape it in kind of a long loaf. I'm going to cover this with a clean towel and I'm going to let this sit here oh for about 20 minutes and then we'll bake it. Okay I have let this bread sit for 20 minutes. Now I'm just going to cut some little slits in it. Okay, it's all ready for the oven, so I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven. Okay, the bread is done. It baked for almost 25 minutes. I think it was 23 minutes exactly. Um, I'm going to rub some butter on it. Once it cools enough, I'll cut a piece of it. But this just helps the top of it to stay soft or soften it up. Okay, as soon as that cools enough that I can cut, I'll try a slice. Well, I have smelled this bread just long enough. Now I've got to try it. So I'm going to cut a piece, and I like the heel 
Look at the nice texture of that, still steaming. Look how nice that is. That will be delicious tonight with our chicken corn chowder. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on this and go ahead and eat it. It's still really hot. Oh, look at the butter just melt. Way too much butter, but I'm gonna do it. Mm. There's nothing quite right out of the oven as soon as you could cut it, put a little butter on it. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll make it someday.